Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the centroid of this T-shape. This is a T-shaped beam or T-shaped object given to us and we want to find out the centroid of this object. All the dimension of this T-shaped beam are given to us. So now to find out the centroid, we can use this simple formula that Y bar is equal to the equal to the summation of areas into centroid of each object dividing by summation of the areas so by this formula we can find out the centroid of our any shape so now in this case we have to find out the areas of each object is we have two object here one is this object and one is this object we have two different objects here and also we have to find out the centroid of each of these two objects so by simply putting the values into this formula we will find out the centroid for such object so now the first thing is to find out the area and the centroid of each object so let's come to the areas so it is a1 and a2 because we have two object so a1 means the area of this object is this is the width of the first object 20 millimeter and the height is 150 millimeter so it will become 20 into 150 so here we will get our area for the first object which comes out to be 3000 square millimeter the area of the second object is the length of this object or the width we can say it 100 millimeter multiplying it with the depth which is 40 millimeter so we will get the area for the second object which comes out to be 4000 square millimeter now the find out the centroid why this y shows the centroid of each object so we will take this as a reference is the centroid of this whole object will lie somewhere here for example y bar y bar is our centroid that we want to find so, but y i it means the centroid of each object. We have two objects, y one and y two. We have to find out the centroid for each of these object. So, y one means the centroid of this first object, which is simply one fifty divided by two. So, the first object centroid will be somewhere here, from the bottom of this plate or beam. So, this is this is the y axis because we want to find the centroid along the y-axis so it will be 150 divided by 2 we got 75 millimeter so it means that it's 75 millimeter we have the centroid for the first object now to find out the centroid for the second object y2 so it will be the height of the first object which is 150 millimeter plus i mean y2 is from bottom of the plate up to this sorry it is from bottom of the plate to the centroid of the second object it will be somewhere here so 150 is the total height of the first object which is 150 and then the centroid of the second object will lie here which is 40 divided by 2 so you should keep this rule how to find out the centroid of each object y2 will be equal to the, the height of the first object into the centroid of the second object which is 40 divided by 2 so it will be our centroid of the second object which comes out to be 170 millimeter so now we find out all our required parameter here in this formula so now we can put the values into this formula so we will get our required centroid so y bar will now be equal to the this if I expand this formula so it will be like this that a1 summit it is a summation summation means a1 into y1 plus a2 into y2 dividing by the summation of area so a1 and a2 so now we know the area of the first object the centroid of the first object the area of the second object and the centroid of the second object we can just simply put these values into this formula so a1 is 3000 a2 is 4000 y1 is 75 y2 is 170 so if we put these values y1 is here 75 and adding with a2 which is 4000 into 170 which is y2 dividing it by areas which is 3000 
plus 4000. So by simplify this equation, we got here y dash or y bar 129.28 millimeter. So this is known as the centroid for this object for this T shape 129.28 millimeter. So this is the centroid for our T shape beam. You can also find the centroid for a complex shape. For example, if you have given this shape or any shape, simply you have to find out the centroid of the each object. For example, Y1 this is one object this is second object and this is third object so y1 is this y2 will be the centroid of this and y3 will be here to there and then also to find out the area of the first object the area of the second object and the area of the third object so we'll find out uh, it at the last the centroid of the object which will be somewhere here so this is the way how to find out the centroid of any object if you know this simple formula and how to use uh, this formula to find out the centroid. So hope you guys understand the today lecture and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.